Hello! So today I want to talk more about meditation, specifically meditation that's geared towards helping you to further develop your psychic skills. And I really want to get into the purpose and point of meditation as well as the how and why. So hold on, let's get right into this right now. Now there are many, many different types of meditation out there and all of them are super wonderful. So if the techniques that I share with you in here do not resonate with you, then please do go find techniques that resonate better with you. But I put three techniques in here that I found work really well for helping you to develop your psychic skills. The types of meditation that I have put together for you today are specific in helping you to connect to your energy self to also open the pathways up to the universe, your higher self and your guides, as well as learning how to quiet your inner space, your mind space, so that you can better hear messages from the universe, your higher self and your guides. So these three techniques are super powerful and will help you do those things. One of the most important aspects of meditation for psychic development is helping you to reconnect with your energy self, your higher self, okay? So when you approach these techniques, it helps you to remember who you are and to connect with that essence. And the more that you do that, the more that you connect with that essence, the more that you begin to exist kind of at that level. And by doing that, then it makes it so much easier to start to receive those messages and be in that higher state. And when you're in that higher state, it is so much easier to start to receive messages from the universe or your guides or your higher self because you're already now in alignment with that. So yeah, it's going to help you so, so much. And like I said, it will also help you to quiet your inner space, to quiet your mind. Because if your monkey mind is going all over the place and all those thoughts are going in there, then there is no space for you to get guidance, right? You're going to have to work really hard to discern what is your own inner voice versus what is guidance or whatever, right? But once you start to quiet that monkey mind and all those voices in your head that are your thoughts and the things that you're worrying about or whatever, the more that you quiet that down, the more that you can begin to hear your guidance. So yeah, you totally want to quiet that stuff down. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's go ahead and get into the three techniques now, and I will talk a little bit more about each of them as we go. All right, the first one, and the one that I enjoy the most, which you've probably heard in other videos, but it is guided meditation, okay? Now, guided meditation is so helpful because it helps you to have that visual experience and even visceral experience, right, of feeling and sensing and going on this inner journey to connect with your higher self or your guides or the universe or whatever, you're really starting to experience that within yourself. So yeah, the more you do that, the stronger it gets. And this guided meditation is so cool because you can actually begin to see your guides and talk to your guides and get guidance from them through these guided meditations. And like I said, there are so many guided meditations on YouTube. So have at it, have some fun and check it out and find the ones that you like or even create your own. 
essentially you just want to go on that inner journey to connect with either your higher self or your guides or whatever you're trying to do and by doing that you are connecting with those aspects of yourself or your guides or whatever okay and it is so much fun to do that it's like a little mini vacation so who can resist that right <laughs> Anyway, so that's, like I said, one of my favorite methods of meditation and something that I do almost every night because I enjoy it so much. Additionally, this form of meditation is really helpful for those that overthink like me. I totally overthink. I absolutely have that monkey mind that doesn't want to quiet down. And doing the guided meditation gives your mind something to focus on and think about instead of letting all those thoughts get caught up in that space, okay? So guided meditation is super, super, super super helpful. The second technique, now this one doesn't really have a name because I kind of created it myself, but basically you are going inward and paying attention to your inner proprioception, your inner self-awareness. Now this inner self is actually your energy self, okay? So when you go inward and you connect with that inner feeling sense, your inner proprioception, you are actually connecting with that energy self. So the more that you do that, the more you get familiar with your energy and your energy self. So yeah, super powerful too. The way that you want to approach this technique, and it's super simple, you just want to quiet yourself, get in a comfortable place, and go inward into your mind and body space, so to speak, your, your inner realm, okay? And you just want to be aware of your essence, so to speak, your inner self, the way that you feel, okay? So you're paying attention to your proprioception. This is your, your sense of self, so to speak, what your inner body feels like and your inner mind space feels like, your inner world, what your inner world feels like. So you're just paying attention. And it's really cool. It really helps that monkey mind too, because instead of thinking, you're just being aware of yourself. So you do have a focus. Your focus is being aware of your energy self and what you are feeling and experiencing in that inner realm. And like I said, this is helping you to connect to your energy self, which is also then raising in your vibrational state. You see? You see how this all works? So yeah, great technique. I hope you enjoy that one. And this third and last technique is specifically for helping you to quiet that inner space, right? So that you can begin to have a little quiet time in there and so that your guidance can start to come in and you don't have to try to sort it out what is your inner chatterbox versus what is the guidance that you're getting, okay? So this one, I don't know if it has a name either, but it's basically you're putting your thoughts into balloons and watching the balloons drift up right? So it's kind of like the second one in that you're being aware of your inner awareness, and it's kind of like the first one in that you have something to visualize, okay? So what you do, again, is just quiet yourself down, get in a comfortable space, go inward, and pay attention to your thoughts. But the trick is you don't want to entertain your thoughts. You don't want to get involved with your thoughts, okay? You just, as soon as the thought comes up, you put it into a balloon and you watch the balloon go up. 
And this is really cool because it helps you to realize that you are not your thoughts, right? You are different than your thoughts and your thoughts exist outside of you. So if you can put those thoughts into a balloon and watch them drift up, then eventually the more that you do that, the more you find that your inner space, your inner mind space quiets down and eventually it will start to be more and more quiet and therefore it will be so much easier to start to hear that guidance. Yay! So keep on practicing that one. That one is a really good one too. The point of the first two meditation techniques is really to help you to reconnect with who you really are. And that is so important in your psychic development, right? To remember that energy self, that higher self, and reconnecting with that part of you. So yeah, super important. And the third one, also important in helping to quiet that space so that you can start to hear and receive that guidance that you're wanting, okay? So these three are super powerhouses and will absolutely help you to develop your psychic skills. Make sure that you are practicing them regularly, okay? If you are only doing it once a week, it's not going to help you a whole lot. It is far better to practice five minutes a day day than a half an hour once a week, okay? So the more frequently you do it, the more benefit you're going to get from this practice, okay? So keep doing it and keep practicing and you will find that the rewards will start to come. Now, as you begin to practice these three techniques, if any of them don't really resonate with you or you're having a hard time with them, like I said, there are so many different types of meditation out there. So just go check it out on the web or whatever and find one that resonates with you because they will all affect you in positive ways, okay? And the more frequently and regularly you meditate, the more benefits you will receive. Anyway, I hope that this video has helped you and that you have enjoyed it. If you have, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. Additionally, I would love it if you would share some of your methods for meditation below, as well as if you have any questions too. Put those down below too. I am happy to answer those. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so very much for watching.